Guys, what's up? It's Brian Mac here again with another guitar tutorial, Chance Pena, uh, in my room. And look where we happen to be, in my room. I mean, this isn't like where I sleep or anything, but it's where I come to you uh, and teach you how to play uh, fun songs like this. Um, and we kind of play games like Guess the Chord, uh, that uh, it mostly sounds like, which to me is sounds a little bit like this. Uh, but it also... You know, it could be something more like this. Um, but uh, we're going to go with the easiest way to kind of play this song. So uh, like and subscribe. Let me know what other songs you want to learn on guitar. There's only two chords for this song. But let's, let's, let's take it back a second. We're going to talk about strumming pattern. All right. So we're going like a down, down, up, down, up, chop. Down, 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 cha, da, na, 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 na. Every time you're doing that cha, it's like a, it's like a little accent for your beat, right? Da, 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 one, two, three, two, two, three, right? Because that's that's kind of the vibe we're doing. Show you how to do that easy first chord but we're going to do something a little bit differently and if you need help reading the numbers there's an instagram post in the comments you can go check that out uh but it's zero seven six eight all right so you're going to do a uh one two three switch we're gonna do this and really it's actually more like this uh, for the for the first part um, but we're gonna add that nine on the B string here zero, zero seven seven six nine it's a little bit of a stretch right you're basically making an E like an E major chord all the way up here on that seventh fret and then we're gonna take that pinky and stretch it out to that B string now when you do that you want to try to not touch any of the other strings <laughs> And you also need to keep your other fingers in place. So, you know, it's it's a tall order. Right? Five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, go back to E. And if you feel like the E needs it, you can go up to the ninth fret on that um, on that uh, G string, right? And then go to A. Right? So, as far as that ninth fret is concerned for the A, you can do it. As far as it's concerned for the G, you know, you can kind of slip back and forth between the eighth and the ninth fret on that G when you're playing that E chord. Um, but, you know, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to <clears throat> leave me a comment, DM me on Instagram at bmartinsounds. I try to, res you know, respond to as many as I can. Um, uh, other than that, like, subscribe, check out some other videos here as well. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye.